MathTutor.biz A and AS Level Mathematics. Lesson 1, our first of many visits to Algebra. And we're going to be looking at addition and subtraction of polynomials, multiplication of polynomials and factorising. So let's start with addition and subtraction of polynomials. These are polynomials where the powers are n, where n is an integer, a positive integer. This says the function of x equals. This says the function of x equals. This says the function of x equals. And when we've got more than one function, we have to use other letters as well as f. So I'm going to add together these three polynomials. So let's write down the first one. And we're going to add the second polynomial, putting it underneath. But the important point is to line up the terms under like terms. In other words, the 6x squared goes underneath the 4x squared, the plus 5x and the minus 8. Adding together the third polynomial, the first term, as we've got no power 4s already, needs to be there. And the minus 3x squared underneath the x squares. If we set them out like this, then the adding up becomes much easier. We've got 5x to the power 4 plus 3x cubed. There's 4x squared and 6x squared, which is 10x squared. Take away that 3x squared. Minus 4x plus 5x is plus 1x. And at the end we've got minus 1. Addition of polynomials. Let's look at another example. Same three polynomials, but I'm going to work out the first polynomial added to two of the second polynomial added to three of the third polynomial. So let's write down the first one. Plus two of the second polynomial, so I need to double each part of this. So I've got 12x squared, which I'm going to write underneath there. Plus 10x, minus 16. Plus 3 of the third polynomial, so I'm going to multiply each term here by 3, and we'll have to put the power 4 over there. 3 times minus 3x squared is minus 9x squared, which we need to write underneath there. Adding these up, that's plus 3x cubed. I've got 16x squared minus 9x squared. I've got minus 4x plus 10x. And at the end here, plus 7 minus 16 is in fact minus Now let's have a look at subtraction of polynomials. So I'm going to work out this polynomial minus this polynomial. So let's write down the first one. And set out the second one below it, lining up the same terms. So the x squared is going to be there. The plus 5x and the minus 8. And we need to subtract these. Now there's one, more than one way of going about this. Some people would just say that minus 0 is 3x cubed. That minus the 6x squared will be minus 2x squared. Minus 4x minus the plus 5x. And plus 7 minus the minus 8. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to just go along the bottom row changing the signs and then add together these two new lines. You get the same result but I think this is actually easier. So I've got plus 4x squared and the minus 6x squared. I've got minus 4x and minus 5x. 
I've got plus 7 and plus 8. So, the way I subtract polynomials is to write down the first polynomial, write down the second polynomial, change all the signs along the bottom, and then add. Let's look at that again. So now I'm going to do this polynomial minus this one. So let's write the first one down. And line the second one up underneath. So the 6x cubed needs to go there. Plus the 7x squared minus the 8x. I'm going to change the signs along the bottom. So this, instead of being a plus, I'm going to change that to a minus, change that to a minus, and change that to a plus. And then look at adding together the 3x cubed and the minus 6x cubed, which will give me minus 3x cubed, plus 2x squared, and minus 7x squared will give you minus 5x squared, minus x plus 8x, and then the plus 9 at the end. Doesn't matter if you do it this way or your way, as long as we end up with the same answer. Multiplication of polynomials, most certainly you did this in GCSE, but you'd have just said expanding brackets. This is a polynomial, this is a polynomial, I'm going to be multiplying these polynomials, or expanding the brackets. So both the terms inside the brackets need to be multiplied by the term outside. 7y squared multiplied by 6y. 7y squared multiplied by 8. 7 8 is 56. Another example, multiplying this polynomial by this polynomial. For GCSE we would have called this expanding the brackets and simplifying. I need to multiply both these terms by both these terms. The order in which you do it doesn't matter, but my order is going to be 4x multiplied by the 3x, 4x multiplied by the minus 7, 4 7 is a 28, and then 6 multiplied by the 3x, and then 6 plus 6 multiplied by the minus 7. That's the expanding the brackets, or multiplying the two polynomials. Now the simplifying. Let's look at multiplying these two polynomials, or expanding the brackets. I need to multiply everything in the second bracket by everything in the first bracket. This is the way I would do it. I'd multiply each of the terms in the second bracket by the two and then each of the terms in the second bracket by the x. So let's do it. 2 times 6 plus 2 times minus 3x plus 2 times plus 2x squared. Now I'm going to multiply all the terms in the second bracket by the plus x. Plus x times 6 is plus 6x, but instead of writing it here and the rest of the answers along here, I'm going to set them out underneath, as I did when I was adding the polynomials. So plus x times 6 is plus 6x. So I'm going to line it up underneath the like term. Plus x times minus 3x is minus 3x squared, lining up the like term. And then x times 2x squared is 2x cubed. Adding these together... These two terms will cancel. Here I'm going to be left with minus 1x squared. Bit careless there, wasn't I? I hope I spotted it in time. Sorry about that. x times 2x squared is 2x cubed. 